Jane is nice. You know what's the first thing we need to do? Find the verb. Now, if the verb doesn't stand out to you, then you can try changing the tense of the sentence. Today, Jane is nice. Yesterday, Jane was nice. What's the word that changes? Well, is changes to was, so is is the verb. Now, I said a couple times we've got three different types of verbs. We have action verbs, which are something you do. And in this case, being really isn't something you do. Then we've got linking verbs that show what you are. And then we've got helping verbs that help out the main verb. Now, if this were helping verb, we'd expect to see a main verb right here. But nice is not a verb, right? You don't say, I nice him or I nice. Um, okay, so is our verb here? It's the only one. Now, it's not something you do. So is it showing something you are? Well, it, it pretty clearly is, right? Now, linking verbs will also fit that test sentence, she blank ugly or we blank ugly. So you could say she is ugly. Okay, that is a linking verb. And linking verbs are kind of like a little, they're like a little equal sign in the sentence. They're like, I'm just gonna draw that even though you don't need to put it down. They say our subject is something, it equals something. Now it e either equals an adjective or it equals a noun, right? You can be happy, you can be sad, you can be nice, or you can be a thing, right? I am a teacher, I am a mother. Okay, so we've got our verb. We say who is doing the verb? Who's nice? Well, that's Jane. She's our subject. Okay, and that's a that's a person, proper noun there, right? Okay, and then again, we've we've got two choices. We could have an adjective here. We could have a noun here. In this case, that's an adjective, right? It's describing Jane. Now, if you just want a little draw a little arrow from nice to Jane, that'll work. I mean, it's describing Jane, right? Um, there's actually a a special name for this little one here. If you if you want to give it its own special little name. You can call this the predicate adjective, or I believe you can call it a subject complement as well. I was taught to, way back in the day to call this the predicate adjective. Okay, and if it were a noun, you'd call it the predicate noun. But you know what, an arrow is fine if you just want to draw an arrow. Either way is good. Okay, subject, verb, complement. All right, and we are good here.